back to another Quick Tip Tuesday. Today we're talking about your interface and how you can change your view. Sometimes when I'm working on tutorials and people are trying to follow along, it's a little tough because your screen might not look the same as mine. So I'm just gonna show you real quick how you can change your interface a little bit and change the way that it looks. So let's jump in Resolve and check it out. All right, so we're here in DaVinci Resolve and this is just a typical window setup for me. So you've got different ways to kind of adjust your layout here. Across the top bar right here, you'll see you've got different options like media pool, your effects, your index, and some of these you can have multiple open at a time and some you can only have one open at a time. And over here on the right hand side, you also have a few more like your inspector, your metadata, and your mixer. So by choosing some of those options, it brings up the different windows, which may make your screen look similar to mine. But let's say maybe you're having some trouble and your screen looks a little different. You don't see these menus at the top. Well, if you right click anywhere in that top bar, you see maybe you only see the icons. So you can right click or you can say show icons and labels. Then you can see what each section is. And these ideas are gonna hold true for each one of the tabs down here as you're going through. So next, if you come to workspace here and you come down to show panel in workspace, maybe you're not seeing one of your panels. Uh, you can try clicking on one of these right here and maybe it'll bring up that panel for you. Now you might notice that meters here is grayed out. Well, that's grayed out because that one is only available in the Fairlight page. You can also come under active panel selection and it shows you the keyboard shortcuts to access these different panels, which generally is gonna be the same or similar to the items you see across the top of your screen there. Another way that you can adjust your screen is if you hover over certain parts of your screen. For example, if I hover over this part of the screen here and I drag up, it's gonna make my timeline bigger. If I drag down, it's gonna make my viewer bigger. And same with your side panels. I get the little uh, adjuster icon there. I can click. I can drag it closed, looks like that's as small as that one can go, but I can drag it a little bit bigger if I want, drag it back closed. And same if I come to the middle of these panels over here, drag it up, I can drag it down. And same on the right hand side of the screen, if I open the inspector, you'll see I can't move the inspector anymore. So with my mixer on, you can see if I hover over the edge of my mixer, I can click and drag that. But right now I only have one audio track, so there's nothing to expand there, but you can expand it if you need to. And you see, since I have my metadata open here, if I hover over the middle, again, I can move it up and down. So that's one way you're gonna be able to change your windows and options like that are available in each one of the tabs. You just hover over a certain spot and you're gonna be able to change the size of your windows or panels. So let's say you get something that you like and you wanna make sure you save it so that you always have that view available for you. Come on up to workspace, come down to layout presets and you can save layout as a preset. So then you're good to go. You can always reload that preset. But let's say, oh man, it's all out of whack. I don't know what I did. How do I get back to normal? Well, you can come over here and click on reset UI layout, and that's gonna reset everything for you and show everything the way it originally was when you loaded up DaVinci Resolve. All right, guys, there you go. Adjusting your interface here in DaVinci Resolve. Hope that was helpful. Just showing you how to kind of change the way your screen looks a little bit. I don't know, I hope you find that helpful. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this one, go ahead to subscribe. Be sure to hit that little bell so you get notified when I put out a new video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.